Hello, beautiful human. Thanks for clicking on our conversation with Ashley Simpson and Evan Ross. They are two quality human beings, super talented, super kind, and really funny. I think you're going to like this one. You're going to get to know a lot about them. We're going to talk all about music, life, their past, their families. We got a lot to cover. Ashley and Evan, that is their EP, I guess. It's out now. There's a part two coming. They're going to give details on that. I'm going to stop talking so you can watch. Link in the description below for a podcast. Leave your feedback in the comment section. And yeah, if you want, subscribe. If not, doesn't matter. We're still going to do interviews. But enjoy. Let's do this. Hey. Hello, hello. What's going on? <laughs> Hi. Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming by. Hi, Hi man. man. Nice to meet you. Heather, nice to meet you. Heather, nice to meet you. This is so nice. Oh, thanks. I try. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are dressed very similar. Did you plan that? No, we no. kind of we kind of do dress somewhat similar. Sometimes, <laughs> but today was definitely we didn't get dressed yet. The, <laughs> the, the coats. Yeah, you got like oh, the long coats. Like the jeans are kind of cropped. The, the boots. boots. Yeah. yeah, I guess we do though, kind of more than we know. I think. Uh-huh. Do you guys share clothes? <laughs> we we yeah. So, yeah we do. She definitely likes to take my new clothes that I get. I feel like the shirt <laughs> you have on like I, I wear that a lot. Yeah. I don't know if it was mine or yours. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like you both are very connected. By the way, Evan and Ashley in the studio hanging out. Yeah. Thanks for being here. Dude, you can get relaxed, you know, chill. I welcome, know. welcome. Get really close like this. <laughs> so you're talking about being connected and that you're matching and you don't even know. Obviously, the two of you are connected. Making music together obviously brings you closer, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, it, how? Like, how, like your creative process together, like, how does that, how does a record start? Like, how does I do begin? Um, I mean, gosh, I feel like when we first started dating, music was always something that we would, we would sing together. We'd stay up and annoy our neighbors. <laughs> and... <laughs> our neighbors are the ones that are annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it's not us. Um, <laughs> but I feel like when we started writing together, there was like, I mean... We both kind of switch off, like we'll yeah, we come melody <clears throat> melodies, and, ideas, and yeah. then we kind of figure out <clears throat> whose melody kind of worked better, which one was actually better. But a lot of times we'll we'll take a few takes at you know a song and fig- try, try to come up with a melody and you see if that melody brings on an idea or a concept. But I do. We came up with at home. That was like a cozy at home. Yeah, song. with our friend yeah. Paul Marie, who was playing <laughs> the guitar. We kind of did it around the fireplace. Mm-hmm. It was a melody. Um, and you came up with the hook yeah. on that song, and uh, and then we kind of slowly but surely turned into what it was, and and then we actually got Earth, Wind, and Fire, well, Verdeen White and his, you know, the new Earth, Wind, and Fire to play on the record, which was amazing. No was big deal. So yeah, was cool. crazy. <laughs> I was bugging Casual. out the entire time. Yeah, Evan was <laughs> definitely geeking out. I was like, I gotta get home to the kids. I was like, I'm gonna be right here. <laughs> I'll be home later. I'm watching. Not everything. leaving. I made so many videos of it. It was like just everything. Yeah. I mean, that, that obviously a surreal moment. And to be doing it with somebody that you're so linked to. I mean, you guys are a unit, you know? Like, yeah. It, special stuff. And I think can only work in some situations. Definitely. Right? It's something that people are like, you're doing what together? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny. And everybody's always like, oh, I mean, like, isn't it like don't they say not to work with your husband or work with your partner or whatnot like that? And I, I feel like that's so, it's kind of weird because I was like, that was the reason why, and the, one of the reasons why we wanted to do it is because like, you know, in, in this industry, I think a lot of times it, this career pushes you guys apart because you got to go somewhere else and fly somewhere else. And, you know, it's either one, somebody's following somebody else or they're both going two different directions, you know? I feel like when we do our solo albums, we're going to be like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. We get to, like, have each other yeah. in every interview. Yeah. And, you know. Safety blanket. <laughs> it, really, it is security, right? Yeah. And you guys understand it all, and it's a journey that you... It's now two journeys in one that you share together. Even though, you know, when you do your solo albums, you guys are still invested in, yes. in oh, those definitely. projects. Yeah, we definitely are like, we've got to make it where we can still tour together. Yeah, and soon we're going to both start working on that, too. And I, I think we'll probably both help each other as well on that journey. And, mm-hmm. you know, sure. 
How, how do you approach creative differences? Because you had mentioned, you know, you you go with whatever melody is best. Right. That's uh, well, know. like it's like who knows? And maybe somebody thinks theirs best. Exactly. Yeah. Like that's <laughs> hard. Wait, and hopefully wait somebody else second. in the room is like, no, 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 it's that yeah. one. Well, do you need exactly. to have a third party? Well, yeah. so, well sometimes, oh, yeah. and then sometimes we need that third. Party. Yeah. Well, well and, yeah. Because I'll be like, come on now. <laughs> Seriously. And then they're like, no, Ashley's was actually the one that we probably should do. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> sure, fine, we'll go with it. Whatever. <laughs> you guys just like her more, that's it. <laughs> but is it challenging? Was it hard at first? Like Because you guys had been together for a while. 2014, right? You, you didn't instantly start making music together. Like You got to know each other. You obviously built a... You had a real life before music. and uh, like you, Reality came before music. And I know re- music reflects reality. But do yeah. you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like There's some relationships that come about and it's like, oh, we've been together for two months. We need three records together. It's not that now. does that does exist you know you yeah. see it all the time um but obviously this love is genuine and pure yeah. so h- hard to tell somebody that you love that a piece of them isn't you know <laughs> should be a piece of the two of you on our album <laughs> no like like when we when like over finding out who should whose part should be what yeah or, or, no or, i mean i think at that point we're both like making the song and it's kind of like okay you know well we want it to be the best too so like you know if and and a lot of times and I don't win all the time, by the way. This is you win a lot too. <laughs> yes, it's, it's. And I think that that is <laughs> like seventy thirty. <laughs> no, it's no, it's not. No, but at the end of the day, no, it, it is. It's equal. And I think I think a lot of times too. She she you know if if she knows it's better, she'll be like, yeah, that one that one's better. And it's the same way, you know. But I think that that was what was nice about doing this project with Evan. It wasn't like, this is the genre, and it has to sound like this, and it has to be this. I feel like we were just writing from a place of love and, you know, kind of making not just one style of music. It was like kind of songs that we were inspired by over, like, Mm -hmm. you know, like, I think... um, you know it, every record didn't have to fit a sound or anything like that we just wanted to do songs that we both felt like we loved you know because we like all different genres of music and i feel like a lot of it touched on different things you know all about love and like conversations of love and things like that but but just it, it didn't and there's have still to... a second half coming yeah <laughs> so, yeah finishing yeah. that so that's exciting yeah we're in the studio right now we've got some really amazing we stuff but an ep out now we wanted to separate it because we wanted the songs that were really attached to the show to be able to be their own piece. Got it. And then we were already in the pro. We already had other songs that we wanted to put out, but we wanted to, it, you know, they didn't fit in the show, so we wanted to solidify that and then, and then release some of the next ones, which a, a lot of them are, I think, some of our favorites. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Why was now the right time to release music? We've been wanting to do it. I, you know, it's hard to even say. I think uh, it all started happening. I, I think we really got serious about it a, a long while back, and we got in the studio, and I called a friend of mine Jesse Torero who's a director and said I want uh, some cameras in here so we could film the process of us making this album because we want to make an album and how cool it is to be a couple actually <laughs> doing an album together this would be something like our kids would want to see or something like that and as that was happening that's when Jesse was like there, there might be something here we might we should be able to shoot something because the, the, the interesting stuff was the stuff that was happening right outside the studio in the front of the studio where we're just talking about concepts and life and things like that we didn't know it was actually going to turn into be a show that we we did, you know. Does your relationship become stronger because of this? I think it has. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's been. But like, I think we've had a great, yeah. But I, yeah, I mean, what do you think? I mean, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we've done a lot of, you know, for me too, getting back into music and stuff and having each other. It's definitely like a cool aspect of it that, you know, something that we have together that, you know. Yeah. Definitely you seem unsure. Stri- no, I mean it. I mean, <laughs> it. It hasn't got stronger. It's gotten a ton worse. No, I'm just kidding. I feel like our relationship will like, I mean, get natu- naturally stronger anyway, you know, even if we were yeah, doing it I, alone. Like, ha- but having each other's back doing this has been very cool. Yeah, I think it has only because last year when I was working on something else, I wasn't able to be here. I was gone for like six months, you know what I mean? I was shooting stars back and forth, but I was away from the kids and everything. And I was like, this is like, you know, and we were in the process of making the music at the time. But I was like, you know, it's hard to to be, you know, away from family and work and do that whole thing. And, you know, I know people do it. It's what this industry is. But it's so nice to think that you could actually work on something with your family, you know? And And I think it's cool, too, because even like finding that balance with like doing this the kids everything like we're yeah. really 
figuring that out together and that's nice so. are there office hours when making this album or is it kind of just like whenever you have a free second to so they're not office hours <laughs> <laughs> or just, w- w- set aside work hours that are solely dedicated to it or is it like set aside time and then whenever inspiration hits you sit down and connect it's a, it's that's it's a t- we just, we haven't fully figured that out. We still do so we but we do like she knows she likes to work early in the day. I like earlier because I have to go to bed. I got to get up early. <laughs> yeah. and then I'll stay usually a little longer than she does. And he's a night owl, so yeah. that kind of. But I don't I don't need a lot of sleep. I don't think maybe I do, but I just haven't really. How many hours you, you, you have that to come on, to that place? On the show, life, you can yeah. see you don't need a lot of sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. On the show, it seems like Ashley's ready Anybody to go to bed, and me, you're like yeah. all night long. I get tired. <laughs> How many hours you get in? Like what, what? No, I mean I'll, I'll get like I'll, she'll wake up a little bit before me, but I'll be up around like eight fifteen, eight thirty, you know. Um, but I, I'll go to sleep around two ish, three ish sometimes. That's like yeah, that's like not a ton. No, but, but still on, on nights that I'm like, like if I'm not working on anything, but I like to do stuff and I like to paint at night. I'll be downstairs just doing stuff, like you know what I mean? Because it's a one time you're not on the phone, mm-hmm. where you're not like like everybody's not asking for something or figuring out what we're gonna do. It's like there's no <laughs> nobody. Everyone no, else I'm just, is sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> you alone. <laughs> Creative. It's inappropriate to call yeah, people. You're literally the only person awake. <laughs> <laughs> True. What were y'all talking about at the top of tonic? What were we talking Sonic. about? Oh. There's, there is a spoken word at the top of that song. Oh, they took a piece of us. We were trying to, I think we were figuring out what we were going to, I think we were figuring out what we were going to sing. Yeah. What's funny is they added that later on, our friend Austin. And at first I was like, what? What do we say? Where was that? that? I was, yeah, like, was, okay. that, was that an accident? <laughs> <laughs> it's probably us just like, before I'm singing, I'm t- talking. And, uh, I mean, that's <laughs> But I kind of liked it because yeah. it felt like a, a fun moment. And the song felt fun to me. You know what I mean? I think Tonic's got this very like, you know, it's just like a, it's just like a fun song. So it was like, like it should feel like more like people were enjoying us in our space in the studio. So I like that he put it in there. But I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be in there until later on. <laughs> <laughs> What, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> it's a quality record. <laughs> I love that. I think that's Thanks. my favorite on the EP. Really? really? That's yeah. so dope. Thanks yeah. so much. Tonic is first for me, and then I do is, uh, you know, tight after. Really? I, I'm i not going to lie. When I sat down to listen, like, you guys are cultural royalty. Like, let's call it what it is, right? That's, that's nice. It's, it's honest, right? It's the truth. Uh, but when I sat down to listen to it, I really went in with zero expectations, but I did prepare myself for the worst. I'm not going to yeah. lie. Yeah. I prepared myself for the worst because it was like, you know, just like this idea that it was reality or whatever. I don't know what kind of like of course, yeah. nonsense I would, fed. I would probably think the same thing. And, but Except for her. I'd have been like, yeah, she's probably going to come with some fire. Well, th- and obviously, <laughs> like, you are in my head forever and always. Like, your music has shaped the way I've come out as an adult. Right. So, it. truly, it's crazy. <laughs> but, awesome like i'm so excited that there's a part two to this because yeah. it's and i'm excited for part yeah, i think two. it's gonna yeah. be, i think it's gonna be your favorite though i really do because it kept getting better that was the process we were in the process of making this album while we're shooting the show do you know what i mean and we also you know it's one of those things where i mean we and we love every song i do is like definitely one of my favorite. and home is like i love home oh. but we we i mean we really like i mean thank god the show happened but it, all of a sudden it was like we're doing the show that we had it was ready to go and we were about to go and we were rushing to finish we were trying to get all the music done but we were also going to have to be in the studio while shooting the show it was like kind of crazy on timing you know and some magic stuff kept coming out but at the time it was too we could we we had already passed shooting it so it was like you know we couldn't use that for the show so we had to release it we're gonna have to got it it. so how many more songs do you have chilling i think it's another i think it's gonna be another six another seven yeah wow yeah, that's like you're close to two out. Al- I mean, that, that I would consider that two albums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's nice to say it's the EP, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> People like using EP now more yeah, than ever. Yeah, I'm like, what away. is this EP yeah. thing? I like it because it's been a minute for me. So I'm like, called- I gotta join the EP world. Yeah, I, 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 it's, it's my way for, to, for me to talk her into like you know. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It's an EP. It's yeah, not it's an album. It doesn't even no count. But, but but the only reason an EP is more popular now than ever is due to the. Over- Overconsumption of music, and yeah. the fact that we consume and then get r- get rid of it, like we yeah. throw it away, like yesterday's it's trash. That happens, yes. yeah. Sucks. Mm-hmm. What is your goal with this project overall? Well, I I, I hope this music lasts, you yeah, know, for everything. a long time. I, I think songs like I do, we did want to make songs that were more kind of classic records. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, that are not just in what's the hot sound now. 
you know, which we all love, but it was like trying to make something that I feel like, and also all ages can like, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but um, our goal is, you know, doing what we're doing and getting yeah. out there. We're about to do a tour together, and yeah. that will be fun. January 7th? Yeah. Just have a good time and make music together. And, yeah. And have fun with it, yeah. Well, yeah. Evan, what have you learned from Ashley? Because you know what you're doing. I saw on the show, like, he wanted to release something quickly, and you're like, no, 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 that's not, yeah, that's yeah. not how we it's working. We still battle with whether or not, you know, you should do that or not. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, um, that's like our thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, no, I've learned a lot from her. Even now that we're rehearsing and we've done a few performances, I think, and, you know, she's she's she knows how to turn it on in such a way, and she, she becomes this incredible character and singer with which is Ashley but it's it's she's got she's you know in a lot in a lot of things she's and I, even in her writing and her melodies and the way she comes up with ideas of you know everything she's yeah I've learned a lot you know well thanks babe <laughs> but I do still I've think that she, you know too. releasing music is, <laughs> you still think you know a little better you're just no like, I just feel like you know the, the hard part with music the hard part with anything that I think we do as artists a lot of times is the is the letting people see it you know and that and that's and that sucks because you know you never know what people are going to like and not only that it's like it's it's an expression it doesn't have to be that serious do you know mm-hmm. and i think that's a thing that i have to tell myself all the time and i think it's why i tell her too because i feel the same fears as well but it's music man you know what i mean like if if five people like it, five people like this. Yeah. Better than zero. <laughs> but there you go. But let's be fa- you come from a different school it's a of different thought, time. Yeah. right? Oh, yeah. definitely. I yeah. mean, like, can you get any more polar opposite, right? Like, to the point of EPs, the regurgitation, the fact that you can put something out there and it, anything will find its audience. Yeah. But when you are releasing music, oh, I, just, yeah. I mean, you you it's had, a, di- a different world, <laughs> right? Like, like, yeah. But what do you learn from that moment that sets you up for what you're doing now? I mean. I feel like I have to separate that, and I have, you know, that was like such a different time, and music has really changed, and for me, I'm just like, okay, well, I'm excited that we're making music, and I've had to have conversations, too, like, how does this, like, work in this (laughs) world now, you know, Um, but I think just getting it out there and not just sitting at home and writing and whatnot has been really nice for me, and I think that there's, like, a freedom in that. That you're like, oh, I'm just gonna put this out now, and here's the. And you know I, I think I mean? you obviously you care a lot about the work, but not mm-hmm. letting the fear stop you from putting it out. Yeah, you know what I mean. I think we we, have, we it's not like we're like whatever. I'm gonna just mumble all through this track. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like you know, we're gonna we, put we, out we care. All of our demos. <laughs> you care a lot about these songs. A lot of times you care about it. And you're not you're fearful of letting somebody else judge it. Do you know what I mean? Well, and it, that's that's the thing. Well, speaking of judging, how is it bringing this music to your families? Because you both have very successful music yeah. families. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, they're my family. Yeah, all they, I feel like your family is like the most supportive. Yeah, they're, they're off. The, yeah, they, and yeah. so is mine. My sister has music too, and we both play each other music all the time. And yeah, yeah, my, my mom has been like a part a of this whole thing the whole thing. time. She loves the music, and she was so happy that we were doing a lot of those songs. Um, on at, through analog and all that kind of stuff and tape so that it had that warmth and all that kind of feel so she was she thought that was great it's a lost art yeah like that know? is and working with Verdine and that like it got you know we got some real cool pieces to that that give it a lot of some of that 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 real real classic sound you know mm-hmm. so no I, I, and and we're writing about love I mean it's good stuff yeah and they're proud of us <laughs> <laughs> what story are you trying to tell with this album because there's definitely I feel there's a story there. I think there is there is there's definitely a story there's um you know and in the process of doing it I think the story started slowly kind of coming together but I I do think it's a there's a, there's a lot to it I think there's a lot of her in there I think you know even with the song home and and you know and and certain records about you know building this place that's it's that's sacred to us that's you mm-hmm. know what I mean that has nothing to do with this outside world that we found a love together in um you know, without all the other craziness around it, it was our kind of own love. You know, I hear family like that's like when I listen yeah. to it. Yeah. I oh, it's all oh, like the stages of family from mm-hmm. I do on. It mm-hmm. was like getting married, having kids. Yeah, like that. Mm-hmm. that like I just kind of kept seeing the pictures. I feel in like my we head. kept our journey, though. Like, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's exactly like, it. like even visually, it's like that little yeah home and like well, how that all. I think we and, and and it's we funny, created that. Yeah. I wonder if we really realized all the time that that was about that though, because we. It started with kind of us getting married. Yeah. Us going to Paris. Yeah. 
Because that's when Paris, I, I uh, yeah, we, we had just gotten I engaged. I tried wedding dresses on there. She was trying wedding dresses in Paris. That's so <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool. Some really interesting wedding dresses. I'm I sure. Mean, she had one that was like. Oh, was like my God. It was Gaga. hilarious. <laughs> 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 it was Where did we settle? Did we settle on Lady Gaga? <laughs> No. No. No, no. <laughs> it would have been great for a performance. I, I don't mean, know. Yeah, it was like. definitely a performance <laughs> outfit. I'm like, I'm getting married. <laughs> it had like this hat that went like, oh, yeah, no. Definitely. It was, we it did was not insane. go there. We went classic. And yeah. I did have like a two piece situation. It was really cute. Bohemian. bohemian. Our whole wedding was very bohemian. Yeah, it was. So, yeah. And we did it at his mom's. Yeah, she married she us. She married us. Oh, that's nice. That's oh. pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. That's, you know, obviously talk family from you coming from cultural royalty to the obvious album. Question for both of you. When did you realize that, like, you weren't like everybody else in school? Like, was there a defining moment that you were like, you know, whoa. And, like, obviously going to be different for the both of you. Yeah. Because. He grew up with different. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, for me, um, yeah, I kind of knew early on, and I started telling my mom I was like, I don't like. We had this guy Arthur who drove us to school, but it was in this little like old school um, blue limo, and I was like, no more of that. <laughs> it's getting weird. <laughs> <laughs> and and I and I would also realize that the teachers would just treat not me when she was, but like if my mom was coming to school, it would be just a whole. And I was like, what? Why is everybody acting so crazy? <laughs> You just know. your mom. Mm-hmm. But we also, like, there was a time where it was scary because, like, somebody, I forgot whose kids got kidnapped. I remember my mom, had, we had security sitting out front of our, our uh, schoolroom door and they would follow us. So I knew there was something different. Yeah. But I also, I, like, I was also just, I was so amazed by my mother. I think I was, like, a fan of my mother's, like, growing up a lot because <laughs> she was so, I would watch her perform and I would watch my mom, who's my mom, turn into this thing that I was like, what in the world? You're like, that's just mom. And her, yeah. But it was like this, this amazing energy, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you could feel it. You could feel it. I could, I could tell more than anything, I could feel what her presence was when it walked into, when she walked into a room, you could feel her, you know, and you're like, yeah, there's something special about my mom. You know? that, I'm sure we all feel that, but I was like, yeah, that's that, really. That gives me goosebumps because you can either like, in that moment kind of like, not like, succumb to the energy and be like I can't match that mm. or you can find it within yourself to do your own thing and be able to do the same thing when you walk into a room yeah well she was always very encouraging with that stuff you know and even now you know she I mean I talked to her for hours just about this stuff and she talks to Ashley too and oh, it's yeah. like you She's know so encouraging. but I always ask her questions I was like hey, what is that like what what is that because I'm still I want to figure that out <laughs> whatever that is <laughs> Is cr- amazing. But what <laughs> what is what is it? I don't know. But you know, I don't. Th- What's funny is that I don't think she she's, she just uh, she says she comes from a place of love. She like just gives. It's just love. her. Mm-hmm. I was just watching that the Central Park, and I'm like, it doesn't even look like you're trying. And it's like this, this <laughs> yeah, energy just coming yeah. out of you. It's unbelievable. I don't know. She's. I mean, I guess that's why she's Diana Ross. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she makes it sound no so like easy. Her, yeah, right. Right. <laughs> Thanks, ma. <laughs> Still didn't sound like that when I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody does, man. When did you realize? Because you you had a, I mean, mine was different. Yeah, I um I grew up. I was a, like a ballerina, and I would go to School of American Ballet. Um, the to, youngest person to ever yeah. oh, get accepted yeah. into the School of New York City Ballet. Yeah, and, and but my whole life I was like very focused to ballet, and you know I knew I wanted to do like theater or something like that. Um, so for me, I left school in eighth grade we moved to california so then i toured and i was homeschooled and i went to acting school and all that kind of stuff so yeah so mine was different so when i come back to dallas and visit yeah there was like a difference you know and they were visiting us on tour and you know so yeah she took they took almost everybody with them though from from where they grew up, it's like, true. Like everybody, my has two been best with them friends from growing up since ended up moving to LA the day they turned yeah. eighteen. Yeah, Beth, who's like a second mom to Ashley, she was my dance, her, teacher. dance teacher. She's out here. <laughs> yeah, she, she was. A, everybody, I'm like, dude, like, that, that's a me. <laughs> Brought everyone with you. I was like, I didn't yeah, we're like a from. close group. <laughs> but, but that's like that's a really great it's sign amazing. of who you are as a person, right? Yeah, and yeah. also where you came from. This mm-hmm. idea that you want to share what you have with those who helped you. Yeah, definitely. That's cool. No, that's beautiful. Yeah. It's it's They got a solid crew over there. We that's do. Nice. Evan, we had fun last night. We were all together <laughs> doing Halloween trick or treating. Yeah. <laughs> 
Were, were you a fan of hers back in the day? Like, yeah, I was a fan. Yeah, for sure. I thought she was dope. <laughs> so when you first met, I was like, actually, when I first saw, I was like, I'm a married watch. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really well, say that? Yeah. Where no, was it? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, but I, I was a fan, and I always thought she was. I always thought she was beautiful, and and um, I'd seen her a few times once in a while, but we would bump into each other, and I was, yeah, but I yeah, I always thought she was amazing and talented, you know, and I also knew the story. I knew that she had done this album by herself and written this album and I thought it was you know it was it just I thought it was she was so talented you know mm-hmm. wait so you guys knew each other a little bit and bumped into each other before you got together yeah, yeah. well we had well the first time we bumped into each other we ended up hanging out and making out and that was mm-hmm. it <laughs> and then you stopped talking for how long well no it was like it was like a weird kind of night and then it she was a gone. weird. It was. Night. It was a great. Night. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird in the sense that like we like met, like made out, and then you were gone. Well, yeah, I had to go. <laughs> yeah, I was getting late. She had to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and then her friend, who I'm friends with, wouldn't give me her number. Because she was like, she's like, I don't know about you. I was like, well, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> and then uh, we bumped into each other again at the Beverly Hills Hotel. She was with her whole family. Yeah, and I, my sister yeah. and my mom. My mom and I had. And I told her I thought she, it was sexy that she was a mom, which was, I don't know. Yeah, he was like, <laughs> really trying to hang out with me in Bronx. <laughs> Look, I was going for whatever I could do with you. Dude, I did you're think a mom, was sexy, that's dope. <laughs> it yeah, was I mean, a very good mom pickup line. <laughs> which probably made her uncomfortable. And- <laughs> no, no, I was like, okay. Well, at first, though, because I had made out with him, we were all laying out, and I could just like feel you staring at me, and I was like, I really don't want to take my shirt off and be in my swimsuit right now. I can like feel him like looking at me. <laughs> you really, like, you, oh, you made an impression. I know, I know. <laughs> Look, man, I, you know, I was like, might as well go for it. <laughs> I got to give you credit that your second time you see her, it's her and her entire family. Yeah, yeah, I was tripping out. And then you like came over and hung confidence. out, my, and my mom was like, I really think that guy likes. Yeah, I was, you. I was playing around. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not missing out on this opportunity. She's a beautiful lady. It, did, it still, did, it, it, it still it didn't still work didn't, really though. Yeah, it was a timing thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, at what like, point did you realize? Later, no, she liked me from the beginning. Yeah, okay. I always liked him. Yeah, yeah. You definitely like. I got a tingle. In so my, funny that Ryan Cabrera too was a close friend of ours. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it was one of my best friends. Yeah. But I was like over at the, one of his like parties, and she popped by, and she was like, "I was asking, definitely asking him about you too." Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, "Don't do it." <laughs> a bad friend. No, we're, we're friends now. <laughs> they dated years ago, so maybe. They, I mean, it was a long time. Now, ago. Now, <laughs> now, 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 now. I mean, we're, we've been best friends for years, and like, he's just like you know, amazing. So yeah. Dude. But then when it did happen, it finally did happen, you guys. Yeah, but what was that moment? <laughs> it was the sec- It was the n- time after that. Okay, yeah. so the third time, third time's a charm. Yeah. So you you bumped into my best friend Stephanie, and then Stephanie. she put you on the phone with me, and mm-hmm. you said, "Come over." Yeah. And I came over. Yes. And I, def- I I think dancing is hilarious. That she we like have this like nerdy dancing. We're like, like and then we prince. danced. <laughs> oh, he danced. Uh, what's up? Was why don't we to Prince? How come you don't call me anymore? Call? Yeah. Hmm? I grabbed a chair yeah, and she was, I was she was that dancing chair. dinner. And then I was like, I'm getting out of here. And she ran to the car and she was like, Come back. Oh. And then you came back the next day. And, and then, then we were, like, to, yeah, yeah. We were, yeah, yeah, we were together from then on. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. beautiful. And then right away from like, then you were like, We were like calling each but she, other. But like, we had moments like, We, we were you like, were on calling the first me days. wife and stuff. And he's like, Wait, that, it's a little <laughs> early for that. And I was like, I like it. We, you know, we, were, we, were, we were on. We were on uh, it was one of the first, and she was like, "I need a old, like an old man that drinks tea or something." Just sit on the front porch, and, and I was like, "I don't think so." Like, In a rocking chair, that sounds my terrible. Iced tea. <laughs> That's terrible. I was like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, fast forward fifty years, that's gonna be you. No, God. <laughs> it's funny that that was my vision. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's that? That's really nice. Mm-hmm. Like this wasn't easy at all. This was right. This sounds like. Like really yeah. proper. And now, the timing yeah. was right, and mm-hmm. yeah, that was important. That's this makes me happy because now I get music out of it. <laughs> yeah. It's very cool. Like it's and and is it cool for you guys to see your lives documented in a physical EP <laughs> or album, whatever it is? Yeah, I think I think we were surprised. We we're not that we were like thinking it was going to be not what we expected, but it did turn into something that I think we're proud of. 
you know uh the music especially and the show i feel like you know, you don't see stuff like that on on TV, and 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 like you know. And we're not a whole lot of drama, like even in our life, it's not, we're not like. No, but it's and it's and it's about around love. I mean, I mm-hmm. think that's an important thing, and I think mm-hmm. the world needs that right now. You know, I think it was that, that was special, and I think even the music, you know, we were talking about something that matters. You know, mm-hmm. so hopefully mm-hmm. that's how that read. Yeah. It. I mean, yeah. On this end, yeah. <laughs> Do you approach the reality show world differently now after you've done it? Twice, right? You had your own show, and then obviously the other show. Yeah, that you pop I mean, in I definitely of. never thought I was going to be on a reality show again. <laughs> yeah, none, none of us. None of us. Well, we both were never like, "Yo, let's oh, get on the show." Oh, I know. One show. day we're gonna. <laughs> Not even up into being on the show where we like, "Yo, we got to do a reality show." Like, yeah, it was like that was never. It came. It st- it, it got to that. Yeah, it did. And he was so supportive and mm-hmm. with the music and the whole thing and it was like yeah, it's kinda like it was kind of like a perfect situation. So we're like, you know, let's give it a try. Is the reality we, show done or is that gonna keep going? We're deciding, you know, basically right now we it has to be it can't just be just us. So it it, it either it's around something like a tour or something like that. So we just have to figure yeah. out what that will be mm-hmm. and then and then we'll decide if it's right to do it again. But we, we would I mean we would Yeah, we're open to it. We just gotta Yeah, figure we just gotta out. figure yeah. out what, what <laughs> what it will be around and how we will put or it. if that makes sense it was an yeah. interesting concept <laughs> that we could release a song an episode you know I like, like that yeah and then you tell us I mean I gotta watch the show more but I'm assuming like you really cover the creative process right yeah. in a sense yeah. like it's really the two of you yeah, yeah. you dive in yeah and it's good like I I I, lo- I always love the idea of releasing songs with episodes and having the two connect and it's yeah. well, nice. I was shooting Star and that's where I first saw it and I was like man that'd be kind of cool to do in like a re- like a to real release kind of way song. yeah to release a song per episode you know, um, I think a lot of times too that happens real fast. So these people are like, wait, wait, which one should I be focusing on? But it was it was kind of nice because it felt like you got like a package thing. Yeah. You know, like it's like, and it followed you. It's yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Now, on the show, there's I think there was one episode. You you each said something different. I want to ask you about them. But you think your joke about fish is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> you, you said for fish sakes. Yeah, and like, you really and think I that's good. Kept <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, of course. <laughs> she stands by it. Wait, what was Listen, that? Your, these are like, my kind of jokes. <laughs> what was that oh, one? Fish shakes. I just remember, like, I remember rewinding. Yeah, I was like, oh. I, like, I don't know funny. what that's that was. <laughs> what was it? You were at, like, a fish market or something? Yeah. Because yeah. I love sushi. I, like, love, like, live, weird fish. Yeah. Listen, it might not be that funny, but it was funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> Would you eat, like, live, like, octopus type stuff? Like, yeah, all things that. that move? All that. Ooh. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Jellyfish. Really? You yeah. said you just go in your backyard and just grab snails and eat them? No, that was that was a joke. <laughs> oh, I do okay. eat snails. I do eat snails <laughs> all the time. I totally would do that though. <laughs> you probably have I mean, a nice backyard. They, they couldn't be any more dirty anywhere else. <laughs> I, guess. I guess so. Yeah, they're snails. <laughs> they're snails. <laughs> yeah. But, but what, the way that what they do with them, it, they turn into some delicacy. <laughs> escargot or something? Yeah, escargot. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, well, when now you guys got to want to go get chopping the heads off those little <laughs> things. Oh my like, god, that's the saddest thing ever. How do you want to eat that? Oh, the, the yeah, the little thing was squirming around. Live, the live shrimp, the live shrimp. <laughs> knocked the head right off. Awful. I was like, gross. I, yeah. I don't know, man. I don't think about it. It's the, I, I should maybe think about she it. He really more, does. It. Love, On our honeymoon, you ordered some crazy. She almost thing. cried. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it was just like they, going just, in front of it, me. I'm like, this the way they cut awful. it, it's still alive. So it was this beautiful like lobster, and it was like, <laughs> it was so pretty, and it was just so beautiful. And she was like. I was like, oh, really? Yeah, I almost got a little emotional. And she's there. like, let's go, let's go. I was like, I don't want to eat it, though. <laughs> but I want to oh. eat it. But we had to leave. We're in Bali. Yeah, we, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> um, so gross. Whoa. <laughs> you, should, you shouldn't be eating things that are still squirming around. Really? Mm-hmm. Me and my brother Thank both. You. I don't know. <laughs> we grew up eating stuff like that. Well, that's the thing, yeah. And also L.A., I feel like people who grew up in L.A. have a different respect and appreciation for fish yeah. and for sushi in general. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because Our daughter, everywhere. yeah, she likes it. Yeah. She has, what is that that she likes? Oh, the ikora, ikora. the fish salmon yeah. eggs. Yeah, the little orange things. Yeah, yeah. she loves them. Does so she have the, have the sponge them. like the uh, you know that what's the, what's the sponge called? Like it looks like a sponge, but it's like yellow. Oh, what's that thing called? I, yeah, I don't like the taste of that thing. I don't know. It's, it freaks me out, dude. <laughs> it's weird. I like I like like abalone. Okay, which is live abalone, and they cut it into little pieces and. Mm. So in a weird show, it moves like a weird creature. Wow. <laughs> so you're not a vegan. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. But my dad was like Norwegian. He would like eat, the, he would grab the fish and just bite it. He would 
fish and just eat the like he was like a mountain man so we just ate weird stuff <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a really cool last name. What is his last name? Arna Ness. So his last name is Ness. Yeah. N-A-S-S. And the A-E in Norwegian is attached, you know? He, he's like like a mountaineer. Yeah, he yeah he, he passed away climbing when I was, well, I was 13, 13 I think. 13. Um, wow. But yeah, he climbed all the seven peaks, Mount Everest, K2, everything. Damn. Damn. He and was, he was the head of the expedition in Norway and everything. And for, so, to go, I mean, to Mount Everest and everything. Like like before Bear Grylls was Bear Grylls, yeah. there was your dad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's he's that guy. He's that guy. And we would have deer leg on our this horrible. Go. They, I, I actually had it on our wedding too. It's an actual deer leg with the he hoof had it on it, sent and it smoked. Home. And we, just, we just would at night as kids would go downstairs <laughs> late at night and just like as a midnight snack, just be cutting a oh, deer leg? chunks off the deer oh. leg. It's like it's like it's like salty smoked deer leg. That is foul. Wow. Oh. <laughs> it, it, it From our amazing. wedding, Whoops. he had it sent to our house. <laughs> yeah, because nobody ate it at the wedding. It was Too just LA like crowd? in the kitchen. Well, no, because it, we it, it, it was, was like a tennis racket, but it, it was takes not. a while. It, <laughs> it takes a while to eat. <laughs> yeah, it's a deer leg. Yeah, and you just and you got to like really cut at it to get uh, through all of it. Uh, <laughs> My godmother it. flew it out from Switzerland. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> She checked that, that or she <laughs> She flew private. <laughs> oh, she actually okay. flew private because I don't think you can. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like a real like yeah, they'll be like, What kind of meat do you have in your bag? <laughs> I don't think you, you can't hide that. No, you, there's no hiding a deer no. leg. No. Yeah. You're like, you're gonna have to go back with that. <laughs> oh, you can't check that. Yeah. So, w- I know. Let's look at some of our goals for uh, twenty nineteen here, end of twenty eighteen. Mm-hmm. Like we want a tour. You mentioned that. Yeah, we Kick the year off right with that. We start in the beginning of January. January seventh. Mm-hmm. Um, we got a fun, cool places. We're going to Chicago. We're going to New York, L.A. Yeah. Uh, Atlanta. Um, a bunch of other places. Nice. Is yeah. the show going to be just the the music you've made together? Or is it going to be solo music too? Uh, I'm going to do some songs. old songs okay. too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, and we'll do and we'll do some, some stuff, covers yeah. and things too. And but uh, and I'll do some of my own. But um, yeah, she's definitely going to do like yeah. three of her records. What? Like I, I kind of got to. Do you do <laughs> yeah. people are gonna love people? You have yeah. to do it. Yeah. 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 People are gonna go crazy. So am I. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she asked me if I'd sing pieces of me with her. I was like, no. Nah. You're like, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Make that into a duet, <laughs> please. Oh yeah. Right. We actually like, could. We actually cool. could do that. You'll see. You might Yo. have to. Would you re-release that? I was just going to say, way? re-release that. Let's get <laughs> right? that to number one once again. <laughs> exactly. That's a good idea. Yeah, it is a good idea. Yeah, well, I can help I you with joking, that. I was actually joking, but now it's not. There you go. Idea. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Cool. There we go. <laughs> That's uh, other goal list. Like, uh, my other question is, like, do we want to have, like, a radio hit? Do we want, eventually, a Grammy nomination as a duo? Like, wh- how do we set our expectations here? Are we going sky's the limit, or? Yeah, sky's the limit. I, I, you know, and even when we, we're just talking about this, even after, even when we do both our albums separately, we want to keep making music together and keep mm-hmm. doing that, because it's, it's, why not? You know what I mean? And so, but, yeah, I mean, look, sky's the limit. Let's uh, uh, hope for the best. <laughs> Are the solo albums started? Uh, no, I we've been know, in the pro- kind of yeah. in the process of talking about it and finding out who exactly we'd like to work with and things mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. Cool. First song you ever wrote together wh- is it on this album or is there music that you guys tried to no, make together? No, but it will be on the. Was that wasn't our first one though, Trinity? No, but it was in the like first group of them, I think. What permission love was it? Yeah, but then the first one that we, <clears throat> I think. So that one, that we're, we'll be on the second. Yeah. That was like... We're figuring it out. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we're like, like having a like meeting. Like we're <laughs> sidebar. I, don't know. I love like, it. I got my pencil. I feel like we actually really started to do it was like right after I had Jagger. We had gone into the studio. Yeah. Well, I was actually working on my album and she couldn't, like, she was in there, but literally, I was like, do you want to sing? <laughs> it was, she just, just wanted to get it. Yeah, yeah, but makes sense. And then she did, and it became such a great song, and I was like, yo, we, this sounds nice together, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You, you do have a beautiful sound together. You, you balance each other nicely, and uh, the album is, uh, I'm in. Like, I'm s- totally in. I'm so happy, man. Thank yeah. you. Are you guys going to grow the family? I know you talk about that on every episode. <laughs> we, all, we also talk about it all the time, too. Yeah, we definitely we are, but we, we got to get through. Like, we got it. We got it. So many of my friends are having little babies. They're on like two and three now. So it, it's, it'll, it's coming. We have a lot going on. I think when we could like, 
Because she likes to lay in the pool when she's pregnant. And just yeah. Stuff. I'm like, I got to get out of this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get her out of the house and do any work. But I would <laughs> love to have You do nothing when you can <laughs> yeah. fill the void with the baby. Exactly. But we, 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 would, we would love one right now. I think we just need to get all this stuff done. Yeah. In the next year. I mean, if she's fine with it, I'm fine with it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you walk in the hot tub oh. just penis out yeah. oh my god <laughs> yeah, it was interesting you know what's funny is Hold I on. figured because they were behind me and I thought because I thought it was going to be kind of shocking to her as well that was the whole point I mean it was so, so, so it's kind of like a joke but the thing about it was what? What, what I didn't realize is because I'm so bony that you obviously can see so when I watched on my screen I'm like they faded out underneath my legs they faded out my balls <laughs> I was like, damn it! So they were all looking at my stuff. <laughs> Who knows you? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't think sure. about it like that at the time. It was the drop down th- into there that probably. <laughs> I don't know. But it was definitely. You definitely shocked me, man. Yeah. <laughs> that was the plan. Yeah. <laughs> Did they look Whoa, at you the man. same way the next day, or they seemed fine? <laughs> yeah. I did do that job. I'm it sure seems fine. a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I feel like one of them was trying to catch it. I kept being like, bro, you coming around the side, dude. <laughs> he was like, no, no, no. I'm just trying to get the light. Of the, you know. Just trying to get a better angle. <laughs> I'm like, I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> Hey. Oh, man. If you're proud of it. I see you in my peripheral. <laughs> Get it up like, there. Hey. <laughs> Do it. Oh, uh, Ashley and Evan, a lot of love. A lot, a lot of love. Yeah, for you guys are a lot of fun. Aww, thanks, man. Have a come in more often. Yeah, this yeah. is awesome. We're comfy. <laughs> you're yeah, just having little meetings over there. <laughs> yeah, our house is your house, seriously. And the music, I, like I said, I'm so happy that I'm a fan of it, and it really touched me, and I dig it a lot. So, uh, well, we're a fan of you, too. Thank well, you, sure. yeah. appreciate that. Listen to the music, Ashley and Evan. Ashley plus Evan or Ashley and Evan? Ashley and Evan. Ashley and Evan. <laughs> Seriously, it's worth your ear, worth your time. Seventh Heaven also changed my life. Oh, yeah. Mine Thank too. You. Mine too. Was it really? Like, I Cecilia love that show. Dude, eat, re, it like redefined and reinforced family in my it, head. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I loved it. I, it was the only show I watched with my mom. I would sit there and go oh. watching that show like crazy. It was yeah. so good. It's really quality. It, it makes me quality. upset that that pastor or the reverend he ended up being a creepy guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, that was a why? why? I don't know. That really Why hurt. does that happen in I, life? Ex- also, like, yes. Yeah. There's so many questions associated with that. <laughs> makes me so upset. Oh, but yeah. Thank yep. you for the both of you. <laughs> Ending Wait, it. are they going to reboot that series next too? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to let that guy go, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't want him back. No, no, no. We kill him off. <laughs> but you see what's her name sometimes. Beverly, yeah. And yeah. Haley was on it, too. So yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Haley Duff? Yeah, because yeah. all the our kids, kids are, kids. you know, our kids go to school together, and so we hang, yeah. <laughs> what a cool... It's like her mom crew. Yeah, yeah. that's like a cool parent My crew. mom crew. <laughs> that's this is nice. a very cool mom yeah. crew. <laughs> Seriously, you could be in, like, a non-cool parent crew and, like, go and pick up your, your yeah. kid from school and have all the moms be, like, wanting to be your friend. Right. Because they know you're cool. <laughs> it's true. You don't want that. <laughs> no, you don't. I have <laughs> a great mom friend. <laughs> you, you don't want parents who come to the birthday party and hang out way past when they oh, should yeah, be yeah. there <laughs> just to, like, hopefully become your friend one Take day. Take them back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Looking around. <laughs> Ashley uh, and Evan, thanks for hanging out, guys. Thank appreciate you. you. Thank, thank you so much. We appreciate you. I really hope you enjoyed that conversation. If you did, please subscribe and also check out our podcast. There's a link in the description. And also comment and like and do things. Other interviews are on the screen somewhere. So click them. Thanks for watching. <laughs>